Godzilla on <laughs> We're back everyone and we're back with another gemstone. These little critters can't get another gemstone and we're very fortunate to have many samples of different types. Today we have another gemstone. This is very special, it's called Labradorite. Can you feel that? Hey, that's actually pretty awesome. Labradorite. Labradorite. Hey, incredible. <laughs> that's pretty incredible. So, I have a sample of Labradorite here. What is this in my pocket? Could it be? Oh, yes, it is indeed. Labradorite. <laughs> So they're going to be busy looking at that all the time. And he has his camera and I don't know why he does, but let's not question that. Let's continue. 5X Labradorite, here we yeah. come! Whoa, there it is. I like the different colors, like yellow, green, and purple. I also really yeah, like those then, colors. It looks like a rainbow. Yeah, that, and he likes the green and the purples. I also really like those colors. Labradorite is a very interesting gem. It has a special iridescence known as the Schiller effect. The Schiller effect means that there's glowing iridescence beneath the surface because the light is hitting different parts, different layers in the rock. Is that very interesting? I don't think they heard me, but <laughs> but let's show what's going on. <laughs> He's putting it on my head. What a silly critter. So this is 5X. I can see all those little black dots. Those appear to be inclusion. Those are inclusion within the Labrador. Do you see all those little black dots? What do you think they could be? They could be a little Yeah, I just told you. They're inclusions. <laughs> but he wasn't paying attention. <laughs> they're called inclusions that have little other minerals with, embedded within. Let's take a look at those little inclusions. Let's explore what they could be. 10X. Here we go. Go. There they are. They're getting slightly bigger. Well, Sita, what do you think those little black dots are? Socks? Yeah. <laughs> he thinks they're socks. <laughs> it could be. You never know. <laughs> they could be socks embedded within. You never know, folks. Maybe socks are embedded in million euro rocks. Who knows? <laughs> so there is Tanex with all those little inclusions and black dots. What do you think those little black dots are? Yeah. Inclusions! Yay! Now you're on to it! <laughs> He's a fast learner, folks. This is 10x. Let's continue this adventure. 20x, here we come! Whoa, there's 20x. What do you think about that? Yeah. You, what do you like about it? Do you think a sandstorm. A sandstorm. Ooh, those could be... A tornado. It looks like a tornado. It sort of does. When the tornado comes, everything gets very dusty and it's very difficult to see. And this stone also is a little bit foggy, but also very bright with all those little inclusions in it. Great observation. High five. High five. Oh dear. I just got smacked in the face. <laughs> okay. Ah, someone, someone help me. <laughs> Too many. Oh, Oh, someone help me. <laughs> so there's 20x beautiful, beautiful Labradorite. Now, Labradorite actually got his name because it comes from a region in Canada known as Labrador. They was first found in Canada. Did you know that? No. Yeah, they found this in... Oh, your gem fell? Oh, your glove fell? Oh, his glove fell. Oh, give me one moment. And we're back. <laughs> he dropped his Labrador, right? But I found it for you. There it is. He's putting it in his pocket. And it has that beautiful iridescence. I think it actually has its what? own unique iridescence called Labradorescence. Can we say Labradorescence? Labradorescence. Oh my gosh. Labradorescence. Hey, <laughs> pretty good job, guys. So there you go. What did we think of Labrador, right? It was good. It was good. What was your favorite part about it? I do like the colors, beautiful greens, purples, oranges, yellows, oranges. Did I say orange? I'm repeating myself, folks. Don't. Don't. <laughs> what was your favorite part of Labradorite? Right? Good, he says, but what did you like about it? I like the black things. The black things floating inside that misty, foggy gem. Wow, that was be very beautiful. Well, there you have it, everyone. Thank you for joining us as we explore Labradorite. Right? Come back next time as we continue to 